I should probably make clear that if you're going to do Plaster of Paris, you are going to get dirty, and your whole work area is going to be dirty. <laughs> I'm not the neatest person to begin with, <laughs> but Plaster of Paris gets all over everything. My heat gun, my scissors, my monitor, <laughs> my camera, the floor. Every day I start, I start by vacuuming up everything. Not completely, of course, because it's just going to get a mess again, but I get most of the crap out of the way. If you're going to do Plaster of Paris, you're going to get dirty. So prepare for it. Speaking of preparing, this has dried up nicely overnight. So going to put on the second layer and going in this fashion. Yesterday I went to the store to pick up these uh, gauze pads and actually I couldn't find them anywhere in a cheap like dollar store or something. So I ended up having to go to Walgreens and I picked up a pack of five it was like $10 for a pack of five, $2 a roll. Now these are three inches wide by two and a quarter yards long. Just went to Walmart today, got this. It's three inches wide, four plus yards long, and it was less than four fifty. dollars Five rolls. <laughs> so I'm getting twice as, almost twice, well not almost twice as, but eh, twice as much per roll, and it's half the price. And I think these are more of what I was looking for. As I mentioned yesterday, I was looking for gauze that was more like the uh, cheesecloth. I think this actually goes closer to it. Still got that stretchiness to it like the others did. So I'm guessing it's going to have that ace bandage feel to it as well. But I think this is more of what I was looking for anyway, so. Yeah. Not sure if you can see the difference there. This is a slightly more lighter fabric than this is. So I'm going to put this to the side and I'll leave that as a backup in the event I need some. And I really need to get a new pair of scissors. I should also suggest that you wear dark clothes when you do uh, Plaster of Paris. That way it really shows up when you're working with it. One thing I'm not quite understanding here is I'm, I feel like I'm using actually more gauze than what I did the first time and yet I supposedly have like more per roll and yet I feel like I'm using up like faster using up the rolls faster than I did the first time maybe it's just the nature of the way that I'm putting them on right now Sometimes I'm just too clever for my own good, and not in a good way. <laughs> so, <clears throat> got this, I got the torso drying. I said, let's see what the arms look like when you put them alongside. And <laughs> got an arm sticking up in the air. <laughs> we need an arm to go like this. So what that means, is I'm gonna have to do some creative carving on this thing. I believe, this whole section here is going to need to be carved out so that it can fit up alongside and almost over the shoulder area when it gets put on. I guess if I was making a replica of the mannequin, this would be awesome. So I'm going to probably have to do a little bit of surgery on this arm to get it to conform to what I want it to be, which is going to be an arm like this. Obviously, that's no good, <laughs> sticking way the hell out here. So I'm gonna have to see, it might, actually it just might take, say cutting off this shoulder here and readjusting it so it's coming in like that. It might not be as bad as all that, but I didn't consider that 
when I was making this. I'll have to keep that in mind on the legs too because I'm pretty sure those legs are nice model poses and not uh, <laughs> dead person effigy poses. So tomorrow this will be, uh, should be dry and be able to cut it out of the, uh, off the mannequin form. And then I'll start on the legs and then I'll worry at the end about how I'm going to uh, bust shit up to uh, get it all to fit together. It's obviously that I'm going to need to uh, plaster over whatever gaps and ridges and shit like that are uh, done. But yeah, like I said, sometimes just think I'm just too clever by half and uh, much to my detriment. Okay, <laughs> if you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you don't already do so. And let me know in the comments section below if you've got maybe a way to uh, do this. I don't see a way around not uh, not carving this thing up so that it fits. But if you've got an idea, let me know. Okay, thanks for watching. The f Let's see what the arms look like when you put them alongside. And you can't see shit.